Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Guess what? I finally have time to reorganize this minivan camper ever since uh, I moved up here. So, here you can see this is the normal configuration right now with two seats in the middle. And let's see, see the seat is up. This is a preferred setup because I like to have a seat, a hangout place to sit at. The bed is over there. So there is one thing that not working well and there's another thing that I'm not using. So why keep it in here? Let's let's check it out. Let's reorganize this. Okay, so I'm in my lounging chair right now. And you can see that's where I store. Pretty I use all three of them for my cooking stuff. And I find out that I can consolidate them into two draw instead of three and then leave that open. What I'm gonna put there is gonna be my fuel for my stove. Of course my stove is hidden under there behind my uh, right there. So this seat is not functional and it's not being used over the last year or so. So I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna move that to over there and I'm gonna explain to you why I wanted to move over there, all right? And you will see why. So I took this seat, the middle row seat on the left out. Take me about maybe two minutes the most, but this is what's gonna get me. That's right, why open space right here? My uh, kitchen uh, cabinet, I would call this a kitchen cabinet. We have everything, my cooking gear, my spices down here, cooking gear up here, fuels up here. Of course my stove is right here. And over there is a tarp that I can make into a awning for the side or the rear if I wanted to. So it should be there, easy access. Behind this is the, right here is my uh, portable toilet. For number two, I always, and right now it's lit this open rare. So if I need to hop to the front seat, I can't. So I'm gonna try to keep this area open from now on. And it's easy access for me. I don't leave my barrier in here right now. There's a, remember my uh, barrier in here, I took it out. It's not good to leave it in here in the heat. But it's an easy swap, just two terminal put it in. So this is my uh, house berry uh, center. I still have open easy access into the van through here. Keep, I will keep this seat, that will give me a capability of traveling with four person in this vehicle. The two, my, drive, my seat, passenger seat and this seat. Of course, there's another seat below there. Right now, I'm leaving this down for, uh, what you call this, uh, packaging, uh, carrying stuff mode. So I leave this down for now. And it's easy for you, me to show you what's under the bed. So under the bed is my fridge. I forgot the name of this thing yet. Let me see. It's called uh, Astro AI. Been running for four years. Is it four years or eight years? Uh, four years or five years, I don't remember. But down here I will have, what we have here? We have jumpy cable, jumping cable, backup uh, light and cable for my solar panel, which is hidden under the bed. I will show you a little bit later. This is cold gear, swimming trunk, stuff that I don't wear often will stay down here. Yeah, this thing is uh, pretty much like not wearing all the time. So now I free up, remember, the fuel. I transfer them over here. I used to store them over here. So this will free up to be a cabinet for my uh, t-shirt and underwear. I can store right there, easy access from the seat if needed to. Right now the seat is down. Let's go into the back. This is the awning for the back. Gear rear it. this is the pole for it. Now those two, if I put them up on this, 
then I will have an outside air behind my lift kit. It's pretty neat uh, device. I think this thing cost me about what? $75 total. So this is where it gets stored. What else we have? This is all the tool, whatever I need for, for sticking out the tank. Right now, let's see, I brought a hacksaw. I have, that's the propane stove, two stove. That's the uh, three person tent. Cause sometimes if you go to certain campgrounds, they don't want you to sleep in your vehicle. So you can't always put up a tent. Even if you don't stay there, you put up a tent, they, they think you sleep in it. All right. Okay, so the bed itself, that's a four inch medium foam, furniture foam. My sleeping bag, heavy, uh, not heavy duty, but cold enough. You know, if it's cold enough, then I will use that. Normally, I would just use the $10 Walmart uh, uh, flannel blanket. Got my pillow, two of them. And down here is where I hide my uh, solid uh, solar panel, 100 watt energy. There you go. So how do I mount it? Let me take you to the front. Let me see what else I have here. I have stuff that I stuff everywhere. My, this is my cover for the rear, extension cord. All kind of stuff in here. I think extra light. What else do I store here? Extra belt in case. All right, let's go to the side and see what I tied over there. Of course, I always have my little pot for boiling water. My hot logic. Copycat for one and food 12 volt. That is actually a cot, believe it or not. And then under here is the bracket to mount that solar panel up on the roof up here. So, yeah, I always have this ladder with me now. And then I store my window cover for the middle one here. This is my uh, camping chair that I put right here out of the way. Of course, this is my dashing bag, so that's my shower kit. Oh, by the way, this are uh, cheap. You can get these uh, moisture. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, this is my cleaning supply for cleaning myself, washing dishes. See the pallet there is for number two. So these, I bought these from Dollar Tree. They are $1.25, but look how much moisture is in here. See that? Yeah, don't open them up unless you're ready to be using. Since once you open it, it's pretty much open. So, but since I'm in Illinois, so it catch a lot of moisture ever since it sit inside of it. So I always have a couple of these sitting in here. So whenever I'm parked somewhere out camping, I will open a new one. So that way we catch most of the moisture inside a vehicle. Let's not forget about this folding bike over here. I make it to, I made it a point that I always carry a folding bike with me to every camping ground or meetup. So I have a way of uh, traveling between sites without walking a lot. Sometimes go sightseeing with it. So where is this going to fit into the vehicle? It could go right in here, temporary, when I'm traveling. And then once I get to Camber out, I unload it out to the outside. Or it could go behind this seat over here. I will bring this up and show you where it's going. Yeah, convert this flat surface into a lounging chair is pretty fast. See, I just uh, take this out. Then uh, lift this up. Pull the second one, and it's back to a uh, lousing chair mode. And now I have this open area for the bike to put in. There you go, it's fitting right perfectly in there. So I don't plan on carrying too much stuff from now on. So if I would try to put the bike here and then load up uh, my uh, pantry basket in there, all my food stuff, and it's easy uh, to access them at the same place too. Cooking and everything right there. Leave the bike here. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you these two uh, foam mats I used to cover the floor. 
might as well keep them here keep it from damage the finish of the car and then just close the gate <laughs>